Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the other Ultimate students, this one is special. Yakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. He's the ultimate affluent prodigy, or progeny. And complete, it's, his title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Host Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get done to business. It's just no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um. Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that everyone of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly, that's why we're all freaking out. <clears throat> and that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and classes and hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um... Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when we first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What is, go what is it doing here? Aww. And we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like... What, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. But this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do, wanted to do, something, to, do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. I mean, yes, yeah, ignore the, the two guns right there. Ding dong, bing bong. Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so I'm completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students. I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. <laughs> hey. hey, what? You're just gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped in the interest ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out, freaked if this was real. You know. All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to taking a nap, or to that nap, too. 
Why did they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Hey, for me, I want to go with you. <laughs> that is that, then I'll see you all late. See you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I've got to go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was further than where I stood. The uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be the safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right? Let's do I'm kinda, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Yes. Why are you all still here? Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me? Listen. I know how you feel, but we all can do... All we can do now is check it out, right? Huh. True, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Well. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? <laughs> Shit, what the hell kind of game are they playing? This is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sabrina's so camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way it's a real gun, right? Holy cow, what was this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door total wait, the door definitely wasn't here then, though. Mailbox, nothing aside. <coughs> okay. Yes. Jim should be right through here, yep. Come on. God, I had no idea this Host Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It, it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place was even worse. Uh, um. And why isn't there anyone here walking through the halls I didn't see a single person? This is bad. And they're like, seriously, not good? Uh. They're, they're just trying to spook us. They're, they'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing better, nothing gained. Ugh, shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared of nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop. No running. Well, then. I, too, shall go. <coughs> hey, wait. Don't leave me here all alone. More tutorial action. Learn the room you're in. I'm learning what to play, what people, objects, and characters. Sorry for the late notice. <laughs> Play case, it's all kind of trophies and plaques inside. Oh, hey, Ben's playing Apex. <laughs> of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? But this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Uh -huh. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um. Where are the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. I had the gym. Okay, well, how do I? Wait, is this door right here? Still filled with an e with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym, and I saw what was waiting for us there. Everyone. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy! 
hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Oh boy, here we go. Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Monokuma. I am Monokuma! I told you. And I am God the damn it, ben. headmaster. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was what was I what I was seeing was it was utterly incomprehensible. Her bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I've been carrying with me suddenly transformed to outright fear. Say what? What? The teddy bear can talk? <gasps> Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. Hey, I told you already, now. I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and you're, I'm your headmaster. Say what? Ah, it moved. Dude, shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's placing? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mary on the trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. it. Ah, but don't make me say that stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. Well. Bear that? Really, you are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Huh. He's the band the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand attention and bow, and good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then, let's commence with the most noteworthy and memorable interest ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life will be here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, if you fellow students so full of potential re represent the hope of the world. And protect such a splendid hope, Hello! you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Now then, regarding the end date uh, for this communal life, there isn't one. In other words, you will all be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the com common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. And just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond those walls ever again. Cut off. Oh, the middle place all over school. They're there to keep us trapped in here? Exactly what they're here for. No matter how much you may yell and scream from help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with your kids abandoned. I'm scratch my leg real quick. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all. Just this is just a really bad joke. D damn you! Yeah, cut the shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying it's a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll be have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. When that time comes, you'll see what's your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now before the interest ceremony is even finished, you've decided you've already decided that you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know. I did, guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Really? Actually, As headmaster, I crafted special claws for those of you who would like to leave. 
I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt the harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> hoo hoo hoo, well you know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave, it's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> hoo hoo hoo, I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, just, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all the nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead and go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh. Alright, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? Huh? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving hero aside, Mundo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole, this shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? You son of a bitch! Foul! Mondo roared out, and then there's a sudden boom. The sudden the sound of the floorboard that they kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight like as a bullet. He locked on to his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Oh, okay. Hey, damn it! What, in the smartest comeback this time? Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out, get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if Rafferafi stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... The hell? What the that sure shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when, it hits, when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! Oh, there's another one! Damn you, you son of a bitch, you seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Oh, yes, I was seriously about to try 
I was seriously about trying to kill you. Oh, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one school regulations after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off without just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so this mean we're like a bunch of m more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed around. Or have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget about the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. If you're caught breaking my any rule, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> hoo hoo hoo, and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate our. To commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is the, our official school. Our, our, this is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? And you can, as you can see, it's fully digital. No, so natural. We call it the E Handbook. I have. Yes. Well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, watch it, drown it, it will keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand the impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violations of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict yet, yeah, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter case without laws. Yes. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place of violators. Okay, well, that brings our interest ceremony to a close. Bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone needs to calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is mm -hmm. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone that's we were attempted out of nowhere and stuff into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is, it's just, what is this? Ridiculous. A lie, it's, it's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hm. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or not. What matters is... So in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true... I realized the true hair terror hidden inside, but hidden within these rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is someone going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. The school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, is not a school of hope. It's a school to spare. That's the prologue. Fifteen students? To be continued. What is happening? Hang on a minute. Are we doing this all over again? Why? Alright game, have it your way. We'll do it all over again. Danganronpa. Oh boy. We're in for quite the long game, guys. We're in for the long haul. 
the long, long, long haul. Be quiet while I play it over again so I can look at something real quick. Goldcrest present. <coughs> Ooh, that came out of nowhere. <coughs> you must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about it. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1, To Survive, Daily Life. Well, for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. And? So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just standing around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself, I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me, I can't forgive myself, somebody hit me, punish me. Huh? Jesus, if you have to yell, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Stupid. <clears throat> Idiot, to look for a way out, duh. We totally need to find whoever's whoever's controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but before we do that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. Probably the best to check. It's probably best to check out the school regulation Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. So then. Fine. Let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto Naegi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I set to the school regulations icon. An item itemized list appeared on screen. It was like school it was the school regulations. In other words, the schools were being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school, leaving campus in an acceptable use of the time. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please ex exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitories will be seen as sleeping in class punched accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy to at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited and is, and is destruction of surveillance cameras. Oh, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raise my face up from the screen. Uh, 
and I looked around and saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is bullshit. What the hell kind of rules are these? It's, I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Firstly, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if, if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that's so what. Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die here. <sighs> None of them made much sense to me, but you, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering, I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without fighting when finding out it was you. But why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders and whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. True. We need to find out exactly, find out where exactly we are. Is there any way out? What kind of food? What way about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it. Damn straight, okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. <laughs> Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny it's a possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... Hmm. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on, like how I'm going to let you run off and do whatever you want? What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What, what the, f the fuck is that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting along the across the ocean. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The fuck you say, you some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're making. You think you're my fucking dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. Wham. He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there. Next second I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I kind of forgot. The kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense just had just stopped functioning, being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to, fa started to fade, before it finally cut out completely. Eight 
and when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... A bedroom. Uh, huh? Where am I? As if it had been become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? Here's the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Here's the X button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and the character info on in the report card section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Save and load the game data under the section system section. Finally, press the back button to review the transcript. This record records all per pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. There doesn't seem to be anything particular, particularly strange about the bed. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Some kind of metal plate mounted here. Is it to keep all this trapped here? I already did that one. I'm gonna get the camera! Fence camera, I hate the idea of someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better not make sure I don't touch it. Must be the key of the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking any individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a block of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be simp should be ample. Don't seem to feel it. All enjoy let's all enjoy ourselves. Crumbled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Some kind of monitor. Uh, this would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Looks like the door outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Oh, trash can. Okay. In a trash can, I don't see any kind of trapdoor or hidden compartment or anything. Also, in the trash can, the paper wa I wadded up and threw away. Look around the room. Look around at what? I've looked at everything. Oh, hang on. Something in the drawer. The toolkit. Really, one hard hit with a set of pliers? Must be brand new with the shrink wrap. I don't think really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Thanks for understanding. This room must be sleeping anywhere in the dormitory. Will be seen as sleeping class and punch accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. So someone must. Have